lines of fit. So a line of fit can be drawn on a scatter plot close to most of the data points. It can be used to estimate data on a graph. So if we see points and they are linear, they're coming from an equation, we can totally draw a line through those. But sometimes when we're looking at data and we see that there is a relationship with them, we can't draw a perfect line that goes through all of the points. So what we can draw is called a line of fit. It's not a perfect line through the data, but it gives us the general idea for where that data might go. If I, if I made the graph bigger, where might the rest of that data fall? What pattern might I see? So how can we draw a line of fit? We're going to start by plotting the points on a coordinate plane. Next, we're going to draw a line that is close to the data points, and we want to look for a few things. We're going to try to have the same number of points above and below the line. So I'm going to draw this line, and I want to try to have the extras evenly distributed on both sides. I want to make sure the line goes through at least two points, because I'm going to use those two points to write an equation. So I want to make sure it's directly on two points. And, I want, and the line should follow the relationship of the data. So again, I don't kind of want my data to be going one way and my line to be going another way. I want my data to look like it's, if you imagine you've gone to the, the, um, the water park and you're going on the lazy river, we want to be kind of in the middle of the river. We don't want to suddenly like leave the river and go off and run into the pavement. So after we've drawn our line, we're going to find the slope of the line using the two points on that line, the two points that we drew our line through. We're going to find the y-intercept of the line, and then we're going to write an equation in slope-intercept form. So let's actually do this with a set of data. So we've got a table, and the table shows the depth of a river x months after a monsoon season ends. So let's just clarify what a monsoon is. A monsoon, um, monsoon season is an area of the world, lots of Asian countries have this, um, where it rains for a long period of time. So it's just rain. It's kind of like some of our really bad winters around here where it just seems like it never stops snowing. This is kind of the same thing, only it's rain. So it's a rain, and then it rains, and then it rains. And it has a rainy season, and then eventually that kind of stops, and it turns into whatever the season is that's next. So we're going to start by making a scatter plot of the data and drawing a line of fit. So here we have the month, and this is the months after monsoon season has ended. So month zero is right at the end of monsoon season and the depth of this river in feet. So how deep is the river in feet? So first I've got my coordinate plane over here, and I'm going to graph these points. So you may want to take a second and pause the video while you plot those data points. So you're going to plot the data points. We've got our depth in feet on our y-axis. We've got the month on our x-axis. Oh my gosh, I put x up here and y down there. What craziness is that? Oh my goodness. All right, so we've got our x as month and our y as our depth in feet. I've plotted my points on here, and now what I want to do is I want to try to remember those three things. I want a line that goes exactly through two points. I want it to follow the flow of the data, and I want to try to have the extra points spread equally amongst the two sides of my line. So I chose to put my line through 5, 10, and 6, 8, because it tends to, f it's really following the flow of those, of those points. And I've got three points on one side here, and I've got about three. It kind of actually goes through three points almost the way I've got it here. So I've got three extra points on one side and three extra points on the other. Um, you might have three and four, or four and three, or three and five. You want to get close. Um, so here's my line of fit. You didn't have to choose these points. You could have chosen two other points. But our equation should kind of work the same way. So now that I've chosen these two points for my line of fit, I'm going to write an equation for that line of fit. So I'm going to take my two points. I'm going to start by finding the slope. So y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. I'm going to plug in my points, y over x minus y over x. Subtract, I get 2 over negative 1, which is negative 2. So my slope is negative 2. Next, I'm going to find my y-intercept. So I'm going to take my equation, y equals mx plus b, and I'm going to start my equation by y equals negative 2x plus b, because my slope is negative 2. Next, I'm going to take an x and a y value that are on the line. And remember, these two points are on the line. So I took my first one just because it was first. So I put 10 in where the y is, and I put 5 in where the x is. So now I have 10 equals negative 2 times 5 plus b. I still don't know the y-intercept yet. But now I'm going to do the math to get b by itself. So negative 2 times 5 is negative 10. I'm going to add 10 to both sides, and I get 20 equals b. So I come back and write my equation. y equals negative 2x. That was my slope plus 20, which is my y-intercept. Now, 20 makes sense as a y-intercept 
because it crosses here at 20 anyway, so that makes sense that my y-intercept would be up there in the, the high teens in the, or the 20. That makes sense. Next question. Interpret the slope in the y-intercept of the line. So my slope is negative 2. So remember slope is y over x. So I'm going to go back to my variables here, and y is the depth in feet, and x is the months. So since slope is y over x, my slope is feet per month, feet over months. So this is negative 2 feet per month. So that slope means the depth of the river decreases, because it's a negative, feet, 2 feet per month. So there's my slope. That's what my slope means. Again, interpret, take it from the math, and explain it in English. Um, and my y-intercept, which is 20, um, 20 is the starting point. So the depth of the river is 20 feet at the start, or at the beginning of the story, which is at the, at the after monsoon season is done. Last question. Use the equation to predict the depth at month 9. So I'm going to take my equation, and I'm going to put a 9 in where the x is, because remember my x is my months, so I'm going to put 9 in there. Negative 2 times 9 is negative 18. Negative 18 plus 20 gives me 2. So I've got a depth of 2 feet at 9 months. So drawing a line of fit to help us predict other pieces that aren't necessarily in my, in my data pool that I started with to help us predict what might happen um, that's not specifically on the graph.